again. But the challenge would be that I am going to stay only inside, only in my apartment to recreate whatever I see on Pinterest. So I do hope we get something sensible and something that makes sense to do inside. If not, we have to improvise, I guess. Let's go! Okay, so I have Pinterest on my computer right now. I am just going to scroll like always and stop on the first thing that I see and whatever I stop at, I have to recreate as a short video or a short film. So let's go. Okay, and go. And stop. Oh my god. Okay, this is perfect. This is perfect for an inside shoe. This is also, I've been seeing this so often on my Pinterest page and I've always wanted to recreate it, but I don't know why I, I have never recreated it. But I am so excited. Let's go guys, let's go. Storyboarding is a very important step for me as I use this to get a feel and perspective on what I exactly want to shoot and how I want to shoot it. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, you don't have to be Picasso. As you can see, my sketches are pretty messy as well. As long as you understand it yourself and you don't have to pitch it to anyone, feel free to draw however you want to. In order to create the vibe we are going for, we will have to accommodate our style and wardrobe as such. Wardrobe is also a very important aspect in film. She was wearing something very comfortable and cozy in the photos, so that's what I'll be looking for today. We are going with a long black skirt and an olive green wool sweater. In order to complete recreating these scenes, we will have to also recreate the lighting. So let's go through it. So for the first shot, I want to film something that could be added to our story. A pro tip, take any styrofoam from your packages to make a great reflector to reflect your light softly. That's what I'm doing here. I used this cat as a stand-in so that I could estimate my lighting and now we're taking him away because we're done setting up. So for the next shot, we will be recreating the shot that we saw on Pinterest. And before that, we gotta clean up a little bit <laughs> and set up our lighting. So in the picture, you see that the lighting is very soft and it kind of seems like the weather outside is pretty gloomy. So today I will be using my Jiyun F100 light to create this soft ambient light. The weather was a bit gloomy on that day, so I had to make it still a little bit brighter, but I wanted soft lighting. So I used this diffuser that came with the light to diffuse my light. Just to show you that not everything goes as planned. I had this in my storyboard, but it just didn't work out. So I was pretty disappointed, but that's how it is. So for the last shot, we will be recreating this shot from Pinterest. And as you can see, the background is a little bit yellowish. So we are going to put in a little bit of a yellow tint into our light for our background light. やっとゆっくりできて一人で時間を過ごそうと思った。本を読んで空を見たら時間が消えた。川の音、風の寒さ、雲の光、この街の感じと人々の繋がりについて考えてたら、急に友達との待ち合わせを思い出した。あ、し